they found a partial plesiosaur, a type of marine reptile. And so these things are very rare and every single one of them is worth investigating. There was just a chunk in the floor and it was facing me and it looked, it honestly looked like a rib cage, like a little baby rib cage. <laughs> and uh, it's hard to pick out because a lot of stuff looks like something. So I got geology over and he confirmed it was a fossil. We're all kind of skeptical because you don't expect to see fossils in the ore benches like this. And in what we've seen in the past and my historical understanding, it's not likely at all. But then when we saw the picture, it's fairly obvious that there was something there. So the fossil we have here is the tail of a plesiosaur. It was a marine reptile fully adapted for life in the seas. We've been getting uh, fossils of marine reptiles from the Fort McMurray mine since the early 90s. But most of them come from that rock unit right above, the Clearwater Formation. Here we're in the McMurray, and this is the first time we've ever had a plesiosaur from these lower rocks. So the rocks lower down are older than the rocks above. So this will be our oldest plesiosaur from this area. The idea that a, a chunk of an animal, whether it was a whole animal or not, but at least a large chunk of one could have survived, you know, the erosion, the decomposition, all of that, it just seems remarkably unlikely. And so we don't even think about that. Like in terms of ore mining, it wouldn't cross my mind to look for a fossil. I think the operator of the shovel deserves a lot of credit. And of course, the field leaders and everyone who took immediate action. As shovel operators, we're trying to no notice things out of the ordinary. I'm really excited to be a part of this discovery. Uh, I have a son, so when he's older, I can show him uh, what mom does for a living and that, you know, that I found a fossil and hopefully he's as excited as I am.